And actually, there is a legend that her ghost still haunts this castle. In the 11th century, Dotsa was tormented by a dragon. I would really love to live in a house like that, or I think I would actually love to paint something like that. Look here. It's fantastic how you get 40 minutes away from Bologna and you are immersed in a totally different reality. Medieval castle, check. Splendid views, check. Fresh air, check. Even the rain. Come explore this town with me. This castle was built in the 13th century and then enforced by Caterina Sforza, um, who was an incredible woman, equally to Matilda de Canossa, which I talked earlier. Uh, she lived in the 15th century and she was incredibly powerful. She was uh, the ruler of these lands. She owned a few castles like this one. And actually there is a legend that her ghost still haunts this castle. Can you believe that some ghostbusters, like real ghostbusters, Italian ghostbusters, uh, went here and uh, made some uh, uh, explorations. I have no idea how they do it, but if you know, tell me in the comments, because I'm really curious about it. And they came to the conclusion that this castle is officially haunted by spirits. And it is believed that the spirit that haunts this castle is the one of Caterina Sforza. Let's go see if we can come inside. I don't know if you can see, but in this hole down there, there are sharp bayonets and I guess they were used to get rid of, you know, enemies. Let's go have a look at private quarters. Can you imagine people living here and inhabiting these spaces? This is incredible. They used to sleep here, they used to live every day, every single thing that they went through was happening here. And yeah, it is said, as I said before, that Katrina Sforza stayed here for at least some time because this castle for sure was um, in her uh, property. So we can only imagine how many times she stayed here and what did she do here? It's amazing. By the way, here you can have a look that uh, there is a water closet. Even back then, in very early times, there were these separate rooms for loo, basically. There is a legend in these areas that in the 11th century all these lands were uh, tormented by a dragon. As you know, medieval times loved uh, stories about dragons and uh, stuff like that. So Dotsa is no different actually. So in the 11th century Dotsa was tormented by a dragon and uh, there was a knight, Cassiano Roboni, who volunteered to kill the dragon. He gathered kind of an army and went to kill the dragon. However, the expedition wasn't successful. There is no uh, reference left about what happened to the dragon. However, this castle became home for a real dragon. His name is Firstan, and I'm inviting you to go see it. Come on. Oh my goodness, guys, you have to see it. 
how fantastic is it guys be careful not to wake the dragon it's amazing i mean this castle is full of incredible things This castle visit was totally unexpected. However, Dota has another incredible thing. It is known as the Art City. You will notice later that almost every house here is covered with street art, with graffiti, and each two years there is a, an art street festival is held and it gives it such an incredible artistic uh, character. And just overall, this town is like no other, really. Look at the dragon, so cool. I mean, almost each house here is an artwork and it's amazing. I would really love to live in a house like that. Or I think I would actually love to paint something like that. Look here. I guess this is what I was looking for. Let's have a look. Yep, that's it, guys. Look here. This is the Tolkien Study Center. I mean, could there be a better place for Tolkien Study Center than a little town, medieval town, with its castle and with its own dragon? No, absolutely not. So, um, this center was uh, founded by the Tolkien Association and you know it's just a center where people come people who are passionate with Lord of the Rings they come here and uh, they, they they can read they can exchange information they can talk uh, I know even that some people even wrote their like dissertation in it it's incredible there's a tourist information center so if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings if you're a fan of Tolkien La Tana del Drago is definitely the place for you it's amazing, it's close today, but I think it's really cool if you are a Lord of the Ring fan. Look here. Can you hear the music? It's so cool.
think of how people often complain about uh, street art and some even consider it vandalism, but look at it, it could be an artwork. Dots is an example of uh, giving the artist the freedom to create and to do something really beautiful for the town, for the community. And, uh, you know, there are still countries where street art is considered a criminal offense. And it's crazy. In 2011, in Colombia, a young boy was killed, uh, was shot by police because he was uh, painting uh, graffiti. And after that, it was, um, street art was decriminalized in Colombia. However, it's incredible just to think that someone could be killed while creating, because this is art. Look at it. This is art. This is definitely not, not a criminal offense. Vicolo Lorenzo Campeggio is apparently called after one of the counts uh, who ruled Doza in the 18th century. Look at it. How cute is this? Guys, let's have a look at this little cute courtyard. Another cool thing about that is that there are lots of uh, artisanal shops and cute little places that sell uh, local stuff, local produce. And look at this one, for example, it's an interior design store and it's so cool. Dotsa is a really fantastic place. There aren't many things to do here. However, it will be a perfect one day escape or even half day escape to visit the castle, to appreciate the street art, to buy something artisanal, to eat at local cafes and restaurants, you know, just to change the scenery, to enjoy the views because the views here are amazing. Dotsa is up in the hills. And yeah, I think it's a really cool place and it's uh, such a cool opportunity to escape Bologna f even for a short time and just immerse yourself in a, in a different place, in a different reality. So Dota is definitely one of my favorite little places around Bologna and I would highly recommend you to pay it a visit. We're gonna travel even more, so if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also hit the like button, put a thumbs up, comment and share to support this little project. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day. Thank you.